Hi, this is Sarah from Mixam. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to add bleed in three different Adobe programs, InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. To start, let's briefly review what bleed is. Bleed refers to extra artwork added to your art file to ensure no unprinted edges appear on your print project. This is only required when you have a background color or image meeting the edge of your page. The artwork bleeds off the page, so to speak, going beyond where the paper is intended to be cut. As paper can move slightly in the cutting process, this additional artwork area will make it so if there is slight movement, it won't be noticeable as we have this extra buffer area. This is required for any artwork that has a background color or image that meets the edge of the page. If you'd like to learn more about Bleed, please check out our Bleed and Why You Need It video. With that out of the way, let's first take a look at InDesign. Let's create a new document. We will fill out our final page size. For example, if I want to print an 8.5 by 8.5 hardcover book, I will then fill in the width and height as 8.5 inches. If I want to set up my pages as spreads, then I would select facing pages next to the number of pages on the right hand side. Below, you will see margins and bleed and slug. In the bleed and slug section, we will fill in 0.125 inches or 3 millimeters for the bleed as that is the bleed required for interior pages of hardcover books and most products on our website. The only exception is for covers for our hardcover books, which we'll get to in a moment. Now you can see that we have our pages here in white, and beyond the white page, we have a red line. The area between the white page and the red line is the bleed area. If I want to have this page be black, for example, I just add this black square and make sure that it extends beyond the page and meets the red bleed line on all four sides. Now we have proper bleed on this page. If your background or pages are white with no images or graphics meeting the edge of the page, then there is no need to provide bleed for your files. For hardcover book covers, the bleed is 0.8 inches or 20 millimeters on all four sides. The reason for this is because we need the paper to wrap around the covers. Most of this area will be covered by the end paper on the other side, but it is still required. This is a pretty big area, so we recommend providing your covers separately from your interior pages when uploading to our website. Be sure to fill in the entire area with your artwork for the best result. Illustrator is very similar to InDesign, so the setup is essentially the same. We create a new file, fill in our dimensions, and add bleed in the bleed section. The red line will appear on all four sides and will continue to be added to all new artboards. For Photoshop, we unfortunately do not have the option to add bleed to the file the same way we do in InDesign and Illustrator. So we will have to add it manually by adding the bleed to the overall width and height of the page. So for our inner pages, since we need 0.125 inches on all four sides, then we would add 0.25 inches or a quarter of an inch to the overall width and height. File size with bleed should be 8.75 inches by 8.75 inches. You can see that there is one large page. Be sure not to put anything important at the edge of the page as it may be cut off in the final print. For the hardcover book covers, we would do the same thing except add 0.8 inches on all four sides, so a total of 1.6 inches to the overall width and height. Our final size with bleed should be 10.1 inches. We of course want to save all these files as high quality print PDFs once we are done designing. It's also important for Illustrator and InDesign that when you export, you export with Bleed, which will be under this Bleed section here on the left. You can upload your artwork as a single PDF containing all of your PDF files in one document or as multiple PDFs, whatever is easiest for you. In the next tutorial for using Photoshop, I'll explain how to get our system to recognize the Bleed area you add in your file prior to upload, which is called setting a trim box. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Should you need any assistance, please contact our customer support team by phone, email, or by messaging them in the messages tab of your order. Until next time.